Facebook to decide today if Trump will be allowed back on their platform. Yes! Facebook Oversight Board to decide Trump fate today. May 5th, 2021. I think I said 2022 there? I wrote 2022 on my little notes. Wow. Ooh, I'm not that far off in the future. All right. This is from our top stories report, which I called Facebook Oversight Board to issue edict on Trump censorship continuation or cessation. If I had to bet guess, I would say, and I'm going to find out like before the day is over how Kreskin like I am. But if I had to bet on the reality of power situation, my assessment is, well, I want to say that they won't. I want to say that they won't, but they're, and the only reason they won't, I think is because, and I could be wrong, but I think that the reason if I'm right, that they won't is because the election stuff is still not going away and you don't want Donald Trump on your Facebook page, constantly hitting you with the election stuff. And, but maybe you do, maybe you do. Uh, maybe he'll sound more like a sore loser than someone who's got a legitimate gripe. I don't know. So I'm a little uncertain, but if I had to bet, I'm, I, I, I don't, I, I think it's 51-49. That's the split in my head. And I'm going with 51 that says, no, they won't. No, they won't. But we'll see. But I think it's really lovely that we live in a time and a place where the corpo state nationalists using their quote unquote social media platforms can literally dictate to a former president of the United States whether he will have a voice in the public square or not. And Facebook is the public square. Twitter is the public square. YouTube is the public square. So if you're going to remove Trump from your public square, you, you just think about this. If you're, if you're in the DNC camp and you're cheering this on, first off, you're absolutely idiotic. You're not working for your best interest at all. Because if the corpo state nationalists have the power to lock out the former president of the United States, what power do they have over your lives? And if you imagine that you're going to be able to consistently stay on message with whatever the DNC message happens to be in that time of season, you're, you're, you're badly mistaken because the message is going to consistently favor the billionaires that represent and control the corporate state nationalist government that we de facto have. So, so stop. Just stop. You don't have to become a Republican. You don't have to become a conservative. But you should stop being a member of the DNC because the DNC represent corporal state nationalism. And corporal state nationalism favors, always favors the, the haves over the have-nots. You don't represent the disenfranchised. You represent the franchised using the plea of the needy to whip you into fear and hate so that you'll hand over more and more of your freedoms, imagining somehow that you're protecting the poor while you continue to support laws and policies that, that, that put the heaviest burden on we the poors. So just stop it. I could say a lot more, but I'm trying to be civil. Trying to trying to be a good representation of Christians in the in the civic. So so there's some stuff that uh, I would love to do, but uh, Christ compels me not to hate my enemies. I'm trying not to hate my enemies. I don't hate you. I just wish that you would stop because you're hurting yourselves and your own children. From FreeBeacon.com, they say Facebook's oversight board will announce ruling on Trump ban Wednesday. Facebook's oversight board will announce early Wednesday whether it will let former President Donald Trump back on the platform months after banning him indefinitely. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg, that's a Zuck. He gets to be the power. He gets to be the, the little priest king here. Him and his little, his little special little board, they get to be the little priest kings here. He announced the decision to ban Trump after the January 6th Capitol event. I'll let you decide whether it's riots or protests or what it was. I'm just going to call it an event and leave it up to history to decide in history that is in the hands not in the hands of 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 the corporate state nationalists because that history will guarantee that it'll be it'll be a, a revolution a insurgency whatever uh, they'll put it in the worst light possible uh citing the then president and i reserve judgment too i don't know what i'm going to call it i'll have to until i get actual facts that i can sift through that are delivered to me by non-factionalists 
So a Facebook CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, announced the decision to ban Trump after the January 6th Capitol event, citing the then president's decision to use his platform to condone rather than condemn the actions of his supporters. The Oversight Board, uh, formerly independent, right, or formerly, indep- I'm sure they are, independent body with whose dis- with whose decisions Facebook has pledged to comply is expected to deliver its verdict around 9 a.m. The widely anticipated decision will set a precedent for Facebook's moderation of political speech. Republicans have criticized the platform for censoring conservative voices and world leaders worried that banning Trump would endanger public discourse. Yeah, world leaders are worried about being banned themselves. That's another thing. That does, actually, I forgot that. That might that might favor in them reinstating Trump, but, but they'll do so with shadow banning or whatever they can do to, to muffle his ability to spread his message. That is one thing that I, I, yeah, I can't believe I forgot that. I have to consider what's going on with Facebook, Twitter, YouTube is what they're beginning to see around the world is that there's pushback, pushback from all these other world leaders because not all of the nation states out there are part of their 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 informal coalition, this, this corpo state nationalist coalition. It's an informal coalition. I don't think they have a, a meeting room where they're all getting together, although maybe some of them are. I don't know. But... What's happening is these nations, people who derive their power from traditional nation-state models, not corporate nationalist models, they're beginning to see the writing on the wall. Hey, man, if we continue to give these corporate state nationalists largely stationed, mostly in the United States and, and, and in Europe somewhat, but mostly in the United States, then, then our countries are literally going to lose their sovereignty to corporate state nationalists in Silicon Valley. And so with that in mind, the corporate state nationalists, in order for them to continue to make humans rather than serve humans, and that's what they're trying to do with their crappy services, what they need to be able to do is to derive revenue not from the particular nation state that they're in. So Facebook, if it ever has to derive its income from the United States of America alone, it will have to change and stop producing this crappy service that it provides, this selective service where its idea of free speech is basically the only people that can speak are are people of the dnc so with that in mind they may just have to reinstate trump because if they don't i think they're almost guaranteed so i'm going to change my vote i'm going to change it i'm gonna still 51 49 but i'm going to go 51 49 they reinstate state trump but with limitations and they give him warnings and guidelines as to what he can or cannot do that would be my prediction now in, in light of that. I, and I, I'm not going to get to the rest of the stories here on the top story. So you're going to have to go to freedomist.com to read them for yourself.